Hello everyone. Welcome to Tharsis. I just launched the game for the first time and I thought this introduction of the game was worth sharing with everyone. So, let's let the game introduce itself, shall we? Silent. Mars waited for us. finally came. It was to answer a call. Alright, lovely intro there. Beautiful art style. And with Mars in the background, I will explain to you that Tharsis is a dice based... It's basically a single player board game. Let's get right into it, shall we? New game. The first of many. We're gonna be doing the tutorial. This will teach you all what Tharsis is about. I haven't played anything of this yet. I have watched people play it though. I will say that. This briefing will give you an idea of how to command a crew and utilize functions on the Ictomi, which is a ship, which quite resembles something that you might build in Kerbal Space Program, which is amazing. I love the little details like the artificial gravity in the plant dome over here. Anyway, the journey is about halfway over, but it's still useful to have a refresher course. Our ultimate goal is to reach Mars. The Ectomi has a staff of six. However, the rest of the crew are busy right now. They're off doing their own thing or sleeping or things, I guess. The ship itself consists of 8 modules, each with its own use. Here's the integrity of our ship. We are at full health right now, we've got one impending damage, which is caused by this event over here. Red indicates the amount of damage the event will do, so we are at 8 out of 8 health and we get one damage incoming. Systems are nominal, beautiful. We've got one assist available, and one food, which replenishes their dice, alright. Let's take a look at our guy over here, Jay Cross. This is his stress bar, this is his health bar, he's on full health at the moment. And he can roll four dice right now, out of a maximum of five die. Or dice, yeah. He's a botanist, he's got a little logo there as well. Shows how many dice crew member rolls on their turn. Available dice decreases by one each time he's used. So if we send him to do that tank inspection over there, then he will be down to three dice. Events. Reducing the repair value to zero, which is the number up here, will remove the event. Otherwise the damage will be applied each turn. So that can be health damage, it can cause our crew to lose dice, or it can damage the ship, as this tank inspection will. So, we can check out the ship information here. Flight control and all the things that the separate modules do. However, for now, let's just select J Cross. We can now move him around the ship. And since everyone else is busy, we're going to send J Cross to the pantry. And we're going to deploy him. That sound was a... Uh, Slight bit loud. Turn it down just a little bit. We've got a benzene tank inspection. A pressure fluctuation has been detected in the pantry. Worth checking as long term exposure to benzene or CHH6, which is the chemical structure, can lead to immunotoxicity and eventually leukemia. And we don't want to get cancer, do we? So this is where we direct the crew and get work done. Dice can be used to help the ship and crew. Dice can be rolled again, but rerolls are limited. So, we're gonna roll the dice, see what we get. Okay, so there are hazards up here, which is a stasis die. And according to down here, we can either use an assist, which allows us to still use the die. Or if we're out of assists, in this particular case, the stasis will prevent the die from being rerolled. We can also have injuries, 
which will cause the crew member to lose a health point, or a void point, which will lose us to die altogether. Assists are automatically used. And here's the counter that shows how many assists we have. We have to reduce the repair value to zero, thus preventing harm to the ship or crew. Place a die here. We only need one point. Down here you can see a total of 18. If we select a die, it will show what it goes down to, so we don't need to do any complicated math. There we go, we did the math. Uh, we did the event. And now, he's got a class ability. Since this is a tutorial, it only takes us a one die. We've got someone else conducting repairs outside here, that's great, or inside, I'm not exactly sure, oh well. But yeah, place a die into the slot to activate the effect immediately, so if we place a die in here we get one food. Now we also have a module ability, because of the pantry we get some food out of the storage lockers I guess. All modules have different capabilities that keep the ship running in good condition. Place a one die or higher, uh, a one or higher, there we go, and then we got some more food, and we can place the rest of the dice in research. Now we're done with the event, let's move on. End of the week, so we get detecting new events, a micro meteoroid storm, great. That's the pantry gone. That's bad, isn't it? We have prepared for any disaster. Yeah. For every disaster. Not all of them at once. Yeah, I think that's a kill right there. We can't turn back, but how can we go on? Ouch. A cluster of micrometeoroids has crippled Iktomi and killed two crew. J. Cross has been ejected into space, and Mapia Mus Musgrave has suffered a fatal, uh, a fatal injury. There we go, I can pronounce things. So we're left with our four crew, and we have to survive ten weeks until we reach Mars. Get some funky music going. Alright, so we've got a meteorite strike with some hazard die over there. I'm gonna send our specialists. In the back here, we're gonna get rid of this void die if possible. We need to roll eight, we've got three dice. Should be able to do that. Okay, there we go, we have rolled six and a four. I'm gonna try and re roll the one, see if we can get maybe something better out of it. Unfortunately not, so we can use the 6 and we use the 3. And then we could put it in ship repair, but we need a pair of dice. Like, if I had two fours, I could put it in there. But for now, I guess we'll go for research. Otherwise, the die is wasted. And we're gonna get our mechanic in here. gonna roll on you. He's got an ability to repair the ship, which is useful. I'm gonna hold the four, re-roll the two. It did get stasis, but then again, we... Hmm. I'm not tempted to actually repair the ship for one damage, since we might be able to fix this event. Yeah, we're gonna go for one ship health, I guess. Now we've got our doctor still on the module, which we will do as well. I'm gonna hold the four, re-roll the one. That's too bad. We're still down to 13 dice. And we've got th two crew members in here on the one food. Now we're gonna move our captain in here. If we roll a five or higher on our captain, We could actually fix the event, and I'm kind of tempted to do that. Because we can't re-roll the 3. But that's gonna go into repairs. We've got an 11 here. 
So it's only possible to repair the ship if we put these die and I'm gonna do that. Otherwise I could have put a five or higher in here to give everyone a dice back, which is really good, but I couldn't afford it. I mean, I guess we can use a small health kit on you. There we go, you're up to three health. Right, end of the week. No damage taken. Moods are turning sour. And we get a little cutscene. But if I can't lead them, we're all dead. I need to get it together. Right, so after each week we get a choice. It's a little side project. But it may have negative consequences. The severity is influenced by the stress that our people have, and they're all roughly at 50% right now, so that's not great. Let's take a look what we got. We can either go for two extra assists, which would give these two people, that would be our mechanic and our doctor, they would gain stress. Or we can give two health to these people, but everyone would go down to one die, which is again really bad. I think we're gonna go for the assist, simply because we are so low on dice already. Now, when the pantry was destroyed, we lost most of our rations. We can make additional food in the greenhouse, but only in small batches. We're gonna have to ration our food. And I think it would be most beneficial if we give it to our captain right now. We can get our, everyone together in the same module. We're probably gonna take some ship damage, but fixing the ship with Pakal turned out to be the right call. Now, let's take a look. We're gonna lose one health from this event, which is bad. However, if you take a look at our specialist, we can move her to here, because we'd lose a health. That is because we're moving through a hazard zone over here. So we're gonna move our specialist in here. There is our... Comrade, which has not floated in space and has suffered a terrifying fate. We're gonna hold the five, re-roll the one. And I'm gonna take the risk and re-roll the three. And we get ten, which is great. We could recover health, but you're on three health, so you're not anywhere near dying. We're gonna send call in here first he rolls a five as well no no need to get you to heal up either since you're on three health now we're gonna get our medic in here he's only got a single die and it's six I'm actually sort of tempted yeah we're gonna have to do the actually I'm gonna put this into research and I'll tell you why in a second. We're gonna move our captain in here and we're gonna regain three dice on all these people. There we go, clear the event. We get an assist, so no injury taken. Clear the event. We still have a reroll left. We're gonna put the five in getting everyone a dice back, so we get four back. Our captain is up to five, everyone else up to two. Really, really good. I'm gonna put the two in the research. And then I'm gonna re-roll all of the dice that we have left. Now we could recover health on our captain, which is not a bad idea. Actually, we've got health kits on everyone, which is also not a bad idea, but I do kind of want to save that for... Us. You know what, we'll put everything in research. If we manage to get that 28 prepared, that would be amazing. But yeah, we're gonna take some damage now. That's fine, we can fix that. I let my fear get the better of me, but the others have proven me wrong. I'm proud of how the crew has come together. I think we might actually have a chance. Oh, don't worry, we're gonna mess up at some point. Now, we can de-stress these people, or we can go for two additional assists, which would give these people extra stress. I'm gonna go for the de-stress. We haven't got any food. Oh, that is very bad. 
We've got three assists though, which are going to be needed. Um, right, we've, we're going to send our doctor in here, followed by our captain. I'm going to hold that, reward a one. We're going to work on getting this fixed. We're going to move our captain in here next with all the dice. There we go, double sixes. I'm gonna hold those. Actually, I'm gonna hold the one. If we get a four, which we don't, unfortunately, we could have gotten the repair. Oh well. I'm gonna put the one into research. And then we are low on ship health. And I think we might have to take the risk in sending you up here. But first let's clear this event. Well, we cleared it, that's for sure. We're still gonna lose the ship if this keeps up. But we did get that unlocked, which is great. However, does it really matter at this point is the question. If we don't fix either of these events, we're gonna die. We're gonna take the roll. I'm gonna have to take a reroll, I'm afraid. I think we might still die unless I do. Unless I waste this, which is a terrible shame, but yeah. Had to be done, really. Yeah, we are very low on dice. And we're gonna die next turn if this keeps up. I've checked our food stores and it looks grim. We lost more than half our supplies with the module. If we don't find some creative solutions, we'll starve before we ever reach Mars. Oh, at this rate, the ship's gonna implode. Right, um... Losing one dice is actually not too bad right now. I think we'll go over that. We can resort to cannibalism. And at this point, the only way to make it is if we do. There we go. Everyone gets stressed out by that, but we are at such a terrible point. We started off with so few dice We really have to now we can kill someone, but we're not going to Right we've let this event go on for way too long Uh, Nicole, You can fix that one we're gonna take this one out of the park right away. We get bloody dice because we are cannibals. And that was a terrible roll. I'm gonna reroll all of those. A six and a three. I'm gonna use this for an assist. Get that in research. Well, this has a hazard, so we're gonna send our doctor in. Hope for some good rolls. Now we're gonna need a five or higher, which is... Oh, hello. That was lucky. I'm gonna send our captain up in here. We've got three dice, we should be able to knock it out. Although not with rolls like that. If I hold this, we'll need five, which should... There we go. Knock that out, get some more research. We're just gonna take some health damage now. And I think we can tank the health damage. And we're gonna give it some rerolls and we're gonna 
try and fix the ship. Uh, I'm gonna hold the floor, I guess. Should have held the two. Well, it does really matter. If we don't get one of these, we're probably gonna. Yeah. Bloody hell. Uh, we can go for health kits, I guess. Get some more research. We're probably not even gonna make it to this, right? A transmission arrived. Not from Earth, but from Mars. From Tharsis. An impossible signal from an impossible source. Is this what we're searching for? Who's transmitting this signal? Was there another mission to Mars? One set before ours? Or is the message coming from someone else? We'll have to go there and find out, I suppose. Now, this is really risky. But I do think we need the ship health. We're only on one health at the moment. Uh, stress is already bad enough on some people. Like, it wouldn't really matter that much. Assist? Nah. I need ship health. And we need some food. Oh, that's just brilliant. Well. Uh, I think we'll get our specialist up in here. No, we need rerolls in here, I guess. Just straight up, do it. Uh, doctor, get in there. That's a five, reroll the two. Get lucky, knock this event out. Captain, I need you in there. We killed the event, that's great. Now, get our mechanic in there. I'm gonna hold the two and I'm gonna re-roll. Crap. It's no use. We're gonna use this to decrease our stress, I guess. We're pretty much all out of dice now, we're gonna die. That suit, it's designed for the Ectomi. Nobody has them but us. So who are they? And where did they get them? One food would be useful. Okay, so these people are all gonna get stressed out because we didn't pick their option. A bit selfish, but then again... We're all low on health at this point. I can't take this, it would kill people next turn. Although it would give us a shot at eliminating that event. I'm gonna go take the health hit. Yeah, straight up, we're dead. GG. We have no dice. <sighs> Well, we gave it a fair shake, I suppose. There's no way to fix a ship up beyond this. We're gonna lose people if we don't fix this. And we're gonna die if the ship implodes, which is brilliant. Just brilliant. Oh no! Oh, good. She managed to not die. Oh, never mind. Great job. Get in there, I suppose, and get some dice back if possible. Yep, straight up. Dice. Doesn't really matter at all, but... Feels good, I guess. All oh, right, forgot. Well, we'll do that, I guess. Fe fix you up a bit. And we're dead! 
So, turns out, Thars is pretty difficult. And that's just not normal. As our ship breaks apart in the void. Pretty, pretty challenging, turns out. Well, final score of 659. We did eat people. We did have four events remaining. Stress, 91%. Some debuffs. Health, didn't matter. Well, anyway, that is Tharsis. And then we'll be back with another episode on Friday. Until then, if you've liked this episode of the Cannibal Cruise, then please do leave a like down below. It shows me that Tharsis is a series that you want to see happen. Leave a comment down below if you have anything to say, and I will see you all next time. Have a good one, folks.